Hi folks, so I have a slightly different post for you today. It is a little bit of a, I suppose a little bit of a science lesson uh, all about the eye for you, for the children to watch. Um, maybe you'll all learn something about, from, about your eyes from this today. So um, I'm not going to tell you about all the different parts of the eye because I want you to see if you can tell me what some of the parts of the eye are. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about some parts and I want you then to post in the comments below what you think the names of the other parts of the eye are, okay? So we'll start off with this. When you look at somebody's eyes, when you look at your own eyes in the mirror every day, you see three things, three colors, so, okay? So you usually see a white color, you see either blue, green, brown, or a mixture of colors, and then in the center you see a black color. So I want you to tell me what those three parts of the eye are. So I want to know what the white part is, what the coloured part is, the blue, green or brown area, and what the little black part in the middle is. And I'll tell you about all the rest, okay? So, first of all, I'll tell you what the white part does. The part, white part is the a tough outer coating on the, on the outside of most of the eyes surrounded by this tough outer coating. And its job is protection, okay? At the back of the eye, you have what's called the optic nerve. And this optic nerve is a, like a high speed telephone cable and it joins your eye up inside your head, up into your brain. So it connects your eye to your brain. And it takes the information about everything about what you're seeing goes through that optic nerve to your brain. Um, if we then look at this part of the eye, uh, you have a clear window. If I open it like this, you'll see this clear window at the front part of the eye. And that bends the light as the light goes into your eye and helps the light to focus on the back of the eye for you to see clearer, clearer. And that is called the cornea. Okay, that front window at the front of the eye is called the cornea. And it needs to stay nice and clear in order for you to see well. Okay, then we have this coloured part of the eye. And that's one of the parts I want you to tell me what it is called. So we need to know what the white part's called. We want to know what the coloured part is called. And we want to know what the black part in the middle is called, okay? So this part here, it, um, it, it can be a multitude of different colours. Some people have a brown colour to their eyes, some people have blue, some people are green, and some people have a, a kind of a mixture of lots of different colours. And some days you might, they might look blue, other days they might look more green. Um, so, and some people can have one eye one colour and another eye a different colour. Or they might have the majority of their eye blue, but they might have then a big brown area on their eyes. So we, we, our eyes are made up of lots of different colours and everyone's is different, everyone's is unique. And the, this part of the eye, um, its job is to really, um, it's full of muscles. So it can either, the muscles of this part of the eye can either pull it out and that makes your, your the centre part of your eye bigger. I nearly gave the answer away there. Uh, so it get it makes the black hole, the black part in the middle of your eye bigger or smaller. So it can constrict and make this black part bigger or it can relax and make the black part smaller. So depending on how much light is around in, your, in the area that you're in, that the black part of the middle of your eye will get bigger or smaller. Um, and it's this, this, this part of the eye's job to make the, the, the center part bigger or smaller, that hole at the front of your eye bigger or smaller. And if so, if you're in a very dark area, the, the center part, this hole at the front of your eye that lets the light in, it needs to be really big to let the, 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 as much light as possible through. But if you're in a very bright area, it needs to get, make it as small as possible to let as little, to let less light through. Okay, so um, then if we open this up, we can see that there is a big clear ball in the center of your eye. And this big ball is called the vitreous humor and it's a ball of jelly and it's mainly made out of water. There would also be some sugar, some salt in there too. Um, and that gives the eyeball its shape. So if I hold the camera up, you can see the big ball of jelly fills most of the eye, okay? So if we then take the big ball of jelly out, we can see that there's this part at the front of the eye. So this sits in behind the, the middle part, the little black area at the front of your eye. And behind that sits this lens. And this lens focuses the light so the cornea focuses the light, the lens focuses the light, okay? The lens focuses the light onto the back part of the eye, onto the retina, in order for you to see clearly, okay? So in order for you to focus, 
it, act it actually is attached to this little red part of the eye either side. There's little strings attached to this red part from the lens to the red part. Um, and the strings will either pull the lens out really wide and thin, or it'll, make, or, it'll, or it'll make the lens small and fat. And if you're looking at something far away, the lens needs to be pulled out really thin. And if you're looking at something close up, the lens needs to be fat. So the lens can change its shape. It can get thin or fat depending on what you're looking at. Okay, and it does that automatically without you having to think about it even. It just happens all day long. It's getting thin and fat, thin and fat all day long, instantly. As soon as you need to see far away, it'll get nice and thin. As, long as, as soon as you need to see up close, it'll get really fat. Uh, at the back of the eye then you have this skin uh, and this is called the retina and it holds all the millions of rods and cones. You might have heard of rods and cones in your eyes. Uh, the retina holds all the rods and cones and the rods and cones help you to see. So there's one little spot at the back of the eye which is around about here and it's called your macula and that macular area is what lets you see straight in front of you and the rest of this reddish skin or it's peachy colour in the model here but in real life it's more red coloured. Um, the rest of the skin holds most of the rods and the, the, the cones that are centered here helps you to see really clearly in bright light and the rods that are around the rest of the eye helps you to see to the periphery and helps you to see movement and helps you to see in darker environments and darker light. Uh, that's why sometimes in the dark if you look to the side of something you'll see it slightly clearer than if you're looking straight at it because it's the rods that work at night time and they aren't in the center of your vision 